Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from My Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today is Thursday, and Thursday means one thing. We've got an exciting new update from the Space Engineers developers, and you're probably wondering what you'll be getting your hands on in this week's update. Well, let me tell you, it's a lot of bug fixes, but more importantly, they've changed the mechanics of how the Cyberhounds work. But how have they changed it? So as you can see, darkness has fallen and the cyber dogs have begun to attack. Now you've noticed that there's some damage to the structure over here already, and that's because I've been kind enough to trap some of the cyber dogs inside. So imagine what the things you can do with this now they're not actually exploding. This means you can do a whole variety of different traps. And you can see they're actually biting away at the structure. And when they can't find me, they focus their attention on damaging other components, such as buttons, lights. You can see that light up there has actually been sparked. And if I decide to maybe even to stand on Henry like this, they might even attempt to try to damage him. So no, they've run off to damage another component. So instead of actually just focusing all their attention, they're focusing on damaging parts around the station. That is still very dangerous, so you're going to have to keep yourself clean. But they don't go blowing up. There's actually one stuck in the roof here. Look at that one. I've got a load trapped inside. I'm going to have to build another sort of trap with these. Maybe like a little door that hinges open when an attacker's about to attack a structure and they all just come pouring out. That'd be absolutely... So something else that's quite cool about this is, say for instance, I see the dogs approaching and I run for one of these crates like so. The dogs are still behind me and I hop up onto the actual crate itself here out of the reach of the dogs. And now I'll look at the dogs. The dogs actually get distracted and go and start targeting other job objects. So they're targeting the rover over there. That one's targeting that cargo container and trying to run past it. And they'll also damage the items as well, like they've damaged the outpost. And this gives you an opportunity as a player. So you've hidden up here, the dogs have run off and you maybe you can sneak away without them noticing you and get into that ammo crate, get some weapons out. Oh no, the dogs have spotted me. You've got to run pretty fast. Maybe you get in your ship and take off. And once again, once you're in your ship, the dogs will be distracted and run elsewhere and start attacking other parts of the outpost. So it is very important that you clean these dogs up when they get into a spot of bother around the base. Now, another feature I want to warn you about, this may destroy a few of your settlements if you're not aware of it. This normal setting is now set as manual. So when you're creating up a world, you will have frequent asteroid or meteor sort of storms. You will have to manually set it back to safe to make sure your world is safe from them. Just something to bear in mind. So one of the final tests I wanted to run, now that these dogs are not exploding, we'll be able to trap them within the drop pod ship that I originally designed for the bugs, and then move them on from there. So behind me is a quite a large number of dogs. We're going to suck them into the actual container itself, move the spectator to the front, and seal them there. Oh, come on, we need that last, last sealant. There we go, sealed. I'll pop my character to the outside. And we've actually trapped quite a few dogs within this container, so let's give it a little bit of a look. See how these dogs are actually behaving in here. So all the dogs are trapped. Look at that. We've got an absolute horde to unleash on some poor person's base. Uh, we'll bring this to a higher altitude and see if the dogs actually survive now. So the dogs are all trapped in there, as you can see. Hop into the cockpit. And we're going to bring it up. And it'd be nice to have a little bit of light. But it seems pretty dark. No dogs have fallen out. That's good. Bring it up to the surface. Perfect. You can see some of the legs coming through the bottom. We're just going to drive it forward gently at this stage. We don't want to kill the dogs. And when it becomes daylight again, we'll actually drop these below. So with the dogs now trapped inside, I think it's time to do a little bit of a drop. And you can see they're actually not nibbling at the walls like the bugs did. So this is even better for using as a weapon. So let's drop these down. Press 1. Drop pod is dropping. Now the problem is the drop pod doesn't always break. So as you can see, the drop pod didn't break in this case. I should have dropped it from a much higher altitude. But let's just say it did break. And if I quickly disassemble this thing... So if I press 1 and then use the quick tool, so if I pop these, you can see all the dogs come running out towards the closest structure. Absolutely deadly, lovely, it's so much better than them just blowing up. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, quite an interesting update, and I'll see you next time.